I started playing percussion in my living room when I was like, I don't know, 15 years old or so. And uh, discovered that I wanted to do music in life uh, after that, actually. Started playing in, in bands totally randomly. And uh, and then I studied percussion for a couple of years, and uh, but, but mostly composition, actually. I studied uh, in college and university. And then I played with many bands, different type of music, uh, jazz and even traditional Quebec music. And yeah, and then I discovered electronic music. So that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, going to Senegal, I was there with a jazz band. I stayed there for like a little bit shy of four months. I picked up a few things here and there, traveling. And I don't like the, the term uh, ethnic flavor, you know, it's like for me, when I use like an instrument that's coming from like another culture or whatever, I, I use it mainly for the sound qualities of it, you know, like if I use a berimbau in a track, you know, I don't, I don't want people to immediately think of capoeira, you know, I, I, I just want people to listen to that instrument for what it is, for what it is, the, the sound. And uh, so yeah, so I, I couldn't care less actually about the, the origin of the sound. When I started doing electronic music, uh, I started with a project uh, called Egg, that was a duo. And uh, we released a couple of records like years ago, it was like back in 2002 or something like that. And I kept that project for a little while and around that I developed other projects also with other partners. One other project was called Lucy and uh, the other one was called Chic Miniature. I had uh, another collaboration called Hakam with my brother. Uh, many different projects, I was always involving other people. Uh, the project I'm going to be playing tonight at The Edge is the only solo project I, I, I have, actually. And since then, I also had like different collaboration with other people. Uh, a project called Destination Danger and another project called the Père Egbo Orchestra. So it's always like a random, stupid name that we invent. I guess uh, it's stupid to say, but it would be like uh, choosing from uh, your child and say like, who's your who's your favorite? Like I have to say that one of the the thing that I'm, I'm most proud of is that when I when I I think about uh, all the records I release, I'm I'm still like I feel like attached to every one of them. There's not like one record that I'm listening to right now and I'm like ah oh, I shouldn't have released that or like I'm. I don't like this one, or I think it's not good, or whatever. I, uh, I think I'm, I'm pretty, I'm still pretty happy, like on different level, obviously. But uh, obviously, the albums are the most chunky part because it's like, it's more extended work, and it has to, has to resist the, the erosion of time, you know. So uh, obviously, the albums are a little bit more uh, uh, close to my heart. Mutech Festival in Montreal is a uh, is really important uh, strength. It's not the founder of the electronic scene, but it, it plays a it plays a, a great role in it. Um, I started to uh, to work with the Mutech Festival uh, through the Mutech label because uh, Egg, the first project I was uh, part of, uh, we released the first record of the label together. So uh, since then, I, I, I mean. With diff, diff, many different projects, I release stuff on, on the, the Mutech imprint. Uh, so that would be my link to the, to the festival. But obviously, since uh, 2003, I've been playing to many editions of the festival. And I had the chance to participate to a lot of projects also that were uh, take, uh, taken part uh, uh, abroad. So like in China, in India, Chile, Argentina, Brazil. I had the chance to move a lot with the festival. We can't kid ourselves. The biggest electronic music scene is in Europe. Uh, it's the place where there is the most uh, biggest amount of clubs everywhere. Obviously, moving to Europe just made it a little bit more easy, maybe for me to put my name out there. So I first moved to Paris for a couple of months and then chose to uh, relocate myself in Berlin. Uh, 
As we were talking before, I, I think Berlin is pretty much one of the best cities in Europe to be based in if you want to tour Europe like on a regular basis. The scene in Berlin is quite uh, alive also and there's a lot of clubs and there's a lot of stuff going around so uh, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a good choice still. No, I don't DJ actually. I don't play records. I don't play music from other people. And it's not because I don't consider DJing a, a, a valid art form. I, on, 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 on the contrary, I totally respect that. It's just that uh, for some reason I never I never DJ. And uh, I, I come from the more instrumental side of music. So for me, producing that kind of music was just m maybe more natural. I mean, the, the reason why I'm playing during the weekend is to be able to go back during the week and do music on my own. So uh, what I really love to do, like in the, in the whole process of, uh, of, of doing music is to be composing music. So uh, yeah, that's what I do.